Don't spill through. Today is Wednesday and I haven't left the house since Saturday. That is a problem. Okay, so my kids have been sick all weekend and I have three kids. So it's not just like three days and then you're done because then it goes to the next kid and then the next kid. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a rut and today it is so nice outside. Blue skies. It made me motivated this morning and I was like, okay, let's get our life together. I figured we could do a little spring refresh vlog. So I figured we could do a few things to get some dopamine and get organized for spring and let's do it together. A few mood boosting things that will help us get out of this winter slump that we are all in. I'm just in the school pickup line, so it's not like I'm going somewhere fun, but I am going to dinner tonight with my friends, so that will be good. I haven't seen them in like a month or so. So I'm just gonna sit here. I got my hydro jug. By the way, this is new and it is so much better than the Stanley, like, but watch. This like flips up. You can flip it down. Totally spill proof. That blew my mind because usually they say they're spill proof, but they're not. Anyways, I got my water. This is my second one today. So that's already a way that we're gonna boost our mood. Also why I'm a little bit in a slump. I was sick like two weeks ago. So I didn't exercise for like that full two weeks probably. Then last week I was feeling good. So I exercised every single day last week. And then when my kids got sick, I got a little bit of a relapse. And so it put me into a downward spiral. We're gonna change that today, little by little, that's okay. I brought my MacBook to work on my reading journal that I'm launching soon. That's been a great distraction. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that a little bit while I pick up my daughter from school and let's get into the vlog. Okay, I had a little outfit change moment. And I feel like this goes with it because I forgot that I bought this shirt and shoes during like a spring sale. And I was like, oh, this will be good for spring because it's like a short sleeve shirt. I put it on today for dinner with my friends to feel better. So we're on the right track. We are eating at this cutest place. It's called, what is it called? The Cliff. But it's so cute because it's kind of on top of like a hillside in our city. And it like looks out over. It's so cute. <laughs> Good morning. It is a Friday. I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday was a little rough because my two-year-old got like a 103 degree fever. So I didn't do much yesterday. Today he's still like super grumpy, but his fever's better. He's just in watching Toy Story right now. <laughs> Part of my spring reset, I got on Amazon and just ordered all new bedding because I just need a change. I need it to feel fresh again. We've been in this house for three years and that's the last time I bought like a bedspread. So yeah, I just needed a change. So I just thought we could put that together and it will just feel nice and refreshed. I'm keeping my same sheets because I got these at Costco. They're the best. If you guys need sheets, I always get mine at Costco and we just barely got them. So keeping the sheets, but we're changing out the duvet. We have a down comforter that's we've had for years, but it's kind of like flat. So I heard a trick on TikTok, if you just get like a cheap Amazon one and double it up for inside your duvet cover. So I'm gonna do that. And then I got some like Euro pillows and yeah, the works. So let's do it. <laughs> two 12 by 20 covers and two 12 by 20 inserts. And then I also did the Euro size. So let's open those.
cute. now Saturday. I figured we could plan our day because I've got a lot to do this weekend and let's go over our goals that we set at the beginning of the year. I feel like now is a great time to go back and look at it, see if you're on track and how Q1 is going. I know that I definitely can do a lot better in some of the areas that I set so it's a good time to reflect and see how it's going. Perfect going into the spring season and oh my gosh I'm so obsessed with my new bedding. I slept so good last night. It felt like clouds so that was a fun. I feel like invigorated. I was also hoping to go for a walk outside today but it kind of looks like it's blowing in a storm so we might have to do a little walking pad just to kind of ease back into the fitness and I feel like that will keep the ball rolling for me for this spring and I was on such a good track before all those sick before all the sicknesses so it's really easy to get into a slump and then it's kind of hard to get those habits back under control. So if you can just start little, that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, let's start getting into the planner. Okay, one thing that I wanna add into my planner is I scheduled for cleaners to come on Monday, which is in like two days. And that is also part of my spring refresh journey. You know, we're just trying to survive over here. So you gotta do what's good for you, what makes you happy. Tomorrow I need to definitely pick up the house, pick up all the toys so the cleaners can just do the deep down, like mopping, bathrooms, etc. I usually try and do that once a month. Okay, now let's get into planning today. I love using the daily pages when you have lots of things to plan that day. I don't use them every day, but I do like probably three to four times a week and I have been loving them this year. On the weekends I don't really need to time block as much but this is awesome for um, during the weekdays when I have tons of different things going on and you can just highlight and time block but usually on the weekends I kind of just loosely put in what I'm doing Okay, I got my like baseline to-do list for the day written out. So now I'm just gonna highlight it and then go up to the paragraph tool up here. This is where you can play with the spacing so it fits into the lines better. And then I set my top priorities for the day and then self-care. I wanna make sure I get some my steps in and read my book. And then I also love this for tomorrow section. It's so nice to just like jot down things so you don't forget. So I'm gonna put what I'm posting on Instagram tomorrow. I need to film an unboxing for Wally. Um, they sent me their new, a couple of their new spring phone cases. So I just wanted to do a cute little unboxing reel because they were so cute to show them. So I'm hoping to film that today and then I can post it tomorrow. <laughs> I would just show you real quick what Wally sent over. They sent like a cute like spring PR package with some sunglasses, some Summer Fridays lip oil. I've never tried the oil. And then Dulce and Gabbana light blue. And these cute earrings, so cute. Okay, so their new spring collection launches March 26th. These are all the different ones. And they sent these two, which are so cute. Oh, this one? Okay, so my favorite Wally cases are the magnetic. Let me show you. What Wally is, it's the wallet with the little finger strap. But you can get them in the magnetic style where you can pull it off, which I love because, see, it's still attached, but you can unscrew that if you want. But I love this because I can charge it on my MagSafe charger. And when I'm filming in my tripod, because I film like every day, I can just move this, keep the phone in the case. And then let's pull this one out and see. Ooh, that's cute. I thought this was gray, but it almost looks like a sage green. It's almost like a green gray. 
But see how this one's not magnetic and it's just the wallet and the thing. But see, it is less bulky. So it kind of just depends what you like, but I love the magnetic ones so much. I have an affiliate code with them. Um, I'll put it up on the screen or leave it down below. I think it's Ali Marie. I'm gonna go to the index page and then let's go into our yearly goals section. Let's just kind of touch base with our yearly goals and see how we're doing and what we need to up our game on. And yeah, I think it's just really good to look look back at our goals and our vision board and to get really reminded on what our intentions were at the beginning of the year and kind of reset. Oh, see, I put a bedding because I wanted that at the beginning of the year. I'm so glad I did that this weekend. So that was perfect. And then it's good just to kind of look at each section that you did. I have not lifted heavier weights. Okay, so now I know what I really need to work on this spring. Let me know what you guys have on your goals. I would love to know what other people write down because it's such good motivation and sometimes you get inspired and ideas from other people and how they do their day-to-day -day life. I think that's a good way to set up for our April planning, which I will be planning this week to get up for the 1st of April. So I think that's a good motivation for what we can do for our priorities and goals to stay on track for spring. So watch out for that video this week and I'm feeling way more refreshed and motivated after looking at my goals okay now that i finished planning the weather has taken a turn i'm looking at the rain clouds right now one of my goals for q1 was to get this reading journal launched i've been working on it for like two months and so i've been really trying like the last two weeks to crack down and work on it a little like every day i think i'm just gonna pull out my walking pad and focus and get a ton done on that that will help make me feel productive while getting endorphins and getting my steps so let's do it When I walk, I like to listen to either a podcast or I'll put on like a YouTube video, just small in the corner of my screen. And it just makes the time go by so fast. I know some people like to like watch shows, but I feel like I can't fully watch it if I'm like working on stuff. So let me know if you have any good podcasts because that's been my go-to right now. Also, don't mind the laundry pile in the back. Okay, I just finished. I can't believe how good that felt. My lungs did feel a little junky. That felt so good to move my body. I feel so much better. I hope that this little vlog helped you get out of a rut if you're in a rut too, because <laughs> we can do this together. Thank you for coming along my little week with me and let's hope next week is a little more better, a little more energetic, a little more productive. And let me know if you like this style of vlog and I will see you guys in the next one.